Transported back to my childhood memory of mine, I vividly recall a memory that has stayed with me for years. As I stepped into the bathroom, oblivious to the impending horror, I prepared for my routine bath. In every bathroom of a third world country, or or what I'm aware of at least especially those rundown houses with cheap rent, was an open drain that whenever you took a peek at it, you could see nothing at all. It was pitch black, but as the carefree kid that I am, I decided to ignore it. Little did I know that this seemingly harmless drain held a terrifying secret. In a spine-chilling moment, a gigantic black centipede emerged from its depths. Its long, spindly legs extended cautiously, revealing its grotesquely wide body. I was paralyzed with fear, unable to move or even scream. The monstrous centipede looming over me gradually made its way up my foot. Its movements were slow, really slow, but that was the first time in my life I had ever seen a centipede that big. I was too scared to react, and with a sudden jolt, it sank its fangs into my skin. The excruciating pain shot through my body, and I let out a cry that reverberated throughout the house, filled with equal parts agony and terror. Thankfully, my father heard my cries and rushed into the bathroom. He killed the centipede and swiftly ended its reign of terror. I was left traumatized by the encounter, the memory forever etched in my mind. Fast forward, years later, when I watched the bug scene from King Kong 2005, reignited those suppressed feelings of unease. The sheer scale of the giant insects on the screen intensified my trembling. Every movement, every scuttle, brought back vivid memories of that fateful encounter, reminding me of the primal fear I experienced as a child. Hey everyone, Time is Trinitus here, and welcome back to another video. Today's topic is a bit different from my usual theory videos. I wanted to address something that may resonate with those who have a fear or traumatic experience with bugs. We're going to dive into that intense bug scene from the 2005 film King Kong. Now let me just say, this scene really stood out to me compared to Kong Skull Island, which, let's be honest, wasn't that great. In King Kong 2005, there's that part where the film crew and the ship's crew trapped in this deep ravine, and suddenly, a horde of bugs appears. These insects come in all sorts of shapes, sizes, and species, a true nightmare fuel. What made this scene especially terrifying in my opinion, was the absence of any accompanying music. The silence added to the suspense and created an eerie atmosphere. The only sounds were the creepy clicking and popping of insect joints, along with the cries, screams, and moans of the crew members in agonizing pain. It made you wonder if their voices could even reach anyone for help. I mean, realistically, in such a chaotic situation, would rescue even be possible? Could their pleas for help reach far enough? I don't know, that was just a random thought of mine. This is a kind of scene that taps into the primal fear many of us have when it comes to bugs. The sheer quantity and variety of insects, coupled with the isolated and haunting ambiance, make it truly spine-chilling. It's moments like these in movies that remind us of our own fears and can evoke empathy from others who have had similar experiences. So, whether you have a phobia of bugs or can relate to the sense of dread in that scene, I hope this video helps you feel understood and provides a space for discussion. Remember, you're not alone in your fears, and sometimes even fictional portrayals can trigger real emotions. The actors truly delivered exceptional performances in this scene, particularly in the chilling encounter with the worms, portrayed by the talented Andy Serkis. I must admit, that worm scene was truly disturbing and left a lasting impact on me. I remember the first time I witnessed the worm death scene. It was so gruesome that I had to look away. It was just too much for me. After Lumpy, the crewmate played by Andy Serkis, lost his friend, his anger consumed him, leading him to unleash his fury upon the bugs, including the worms. However, his blinded rage became his downfall when one of the worms latched onto his foot. In a horrifying turn of events, he found himself overwhelmed as the worms swarmed him, culminating in the most excruciating part of the scene. His head was slowly devoured, torn from his shoulders in a gruesome manner. It was an absolute nightmare fuel. What makes this scene particularly terrifying is the sheer isolation and the desperate struggle for survival. Imagine being alone in that treacherous place, battling for your life against insects that are not only massive, but possibly larger than you. It's an unimaginable nightmare. <laughs> Personally, I cannot fathom enduring such a situation and would prefer dying facing that horror. I would eat the worst thing in the world and even face a lion but anything but super roided up bugs in a deep ravine. Anything but that. So, to put it simply, this scene is deeply unsettling, evoking a sense of primal fear and vulnerability and also makes me pee my pants. It taps into our darkest fears of being trapped and overwhelmed by these creepy crawlies that are not only menacing but also seemingly insurmountable. It's an experience that I find difficult to discuss any further. So screw this scene, thanks for watching. Thank you, I'm gonna pee 
puke now. So, in summary, screw this scene. This scene is balls and goodbye. If you have had any traumatic experiences with insects during your childhood, please feel free to share in the comments below. It can be cathartic to share and connect with others who have faced similar fears and pains. However, only share if you are comfortable doing so.